and welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. So it's starting. Here comes the snow that I've been wanting for a couple years. We'll see how fast it accumulates. The birds are going to get their bellies full before it gets here. I can't wait to see how much snow we really get. Well, it wasn't but a couple minutes later, it started coming down hard, y'all. Hard and fast. And it accumulated really fast, too. We got more birds now that the snow has come in in full force. We love our birds. There's that woodpecker. We sit and watch them. Is that a female or a male? For hours. It's a heavy band right there. Where? Bird feeder. Just Make sure it. they're fed good. We'll be back. We need the mail. Yeah. You know, they say that a snowflake, all these millions of snowflakes, that none of them, not one, is the same as the other. They're all different, kind of like us. But they're all beautiful in their own way. The snow has really accumulated fast. I could just sit in my rocking chair and just look out this window all day long. And I know a lot of y'all have gotten a lot of snow and you're probably pretty much tired of it. Probably after a couple of days of this, I'll be tired of it too. But I'm so glad we got it. Here the next day, the sun come out and it was absolutely beautiful. The birds are still feeding. The woods are just shining with the sunlight. The pond was froze over. You can see the sunshine coming through the timber. Oh, it's beautiful, but it causes, <laughs> it can cause a lot of irritation for a lot of people. But look at that beautiful sky the next day. We can either love it and make the best of it or let it get to us. We got about six inches. That's about all I think we can handle here on the hill. Avery and Papa built a little tiny snowman.
And we're taking Avery home, going for a ride in the snow. Now we're on our way home. I'm riding around in the snow with Phil Robertson. Y'all know Phil Robertson? We got the cabinet at Lowe's from Paragol, Arkansas. I ordered online. And the only... I could only get it in white for the, uh, the size that I needed. Of course, it's going to have to go up against the only wall left in the kitchen. Mr. Brown, he's a real handyman. He's never put in a wall oven before, so this is brand new to him. But he done a good job. And we didn't want to leave it white. So he's a painting it with the same paint, <clears throat> same color that uh, the rest of my kitchen is painted in. He likes to paint about as much as I do, and that is absolutely not <laughs> but he always does a good job he wants things to look good and I appreciate that so this is how it looks and then with my touches so I wanted to update y'all on the oven installation it's all done all the painting and and everything's done on it now and you, right here's where y'all see me cooking right here so and right here's where I do my prep work so right there is where we ended up putting the wall oven um, and it works out wonderful it doesn't take up too much room or anything it's just the right size and we painted it to match the rest of the cabinets I do like this gray a lot of people don't like gray cabinets but I do um, it goes along with my primitive decor because I have black and reds and, and uh, wood and gray and some whites um, that just go along with my primitive colors. So gray is the color that I picked. I have a an, an, uh, primitive cabinet sitting right beside it to your right that I store a lot of stuff in. This is a 24 inch Impava, Impava, I think I'm saying that right, 24 inch Impava uh, wall oven. And so far it's working pretty good. I've not got to bake in it a lot, um, still trying to get used to it. It's a confection, it's a propane confection. Up here y'all can see that I got me some really neat looking door knobs on there from Hobby Lobby. And I got me some beautiful primitive paintings here by a lady off of Etsy or eBay. I can't remember now that I got these off of just to give it my primitive touches there. And we got some wood around it to kind of um, just frame it out. And then I got some more little pretty little um, knobs down there. But you can see it all just kind of come together, and I think Danny done a really good job. Y'all seen, y'all remember what he done here for me. He took an old TV cabinet and made me a pantry out of it. Me and him work so good together when it comes to this stuff. Um, I have it, in, the ideas in my head. I know how I want it, and he's able just to get it done. So we work really good when it comes to to the house and um and doing all these things. I'll kind of show y'all the other side of it. There's the side view of it. I've got some of my primitive uh, pictures hanging on the side with a an old pie pan. And this is where I do some of my prep work too. 
got some of my old Crocs, and I actually use those Crocs. I store stuff in them. And there's where y'all see me all the time cooking. And there's my wood cook stove. And believe me, it is cranking tonight. Cold, cold, cold. But I just want to give y'all an update because some of y'all been asking. And don't look at my dirty kitchen. <laughs> I still got supper dishes everywhere. So, yeah. I want to share a really good side dish I made tonight. And if y'all like Brussels sprouts, you are really going to enjoy this recipe. So let's get started. You can use frozen Brussels sprouts, but I'm using fresh Brussels sprouts. And I just cut them in half, took the outer leaf off of them, and washed them really good, and drained them. Now what I'm going to be using is some shallots. I love cooking with shallots, especially when I'm sautéing something. Um, they're just a little bit more milder than an onion, but you can use onion. You can use, uh, some people call them red onions, some call them purple onions. We call them purple onions here. Or you can use a sweet onion. You can use just your, um, your regular yellow onion, just whatever you have. That's what you use, or whatever you like. But I had some of these shallots, and we're going to cut them up and uh, use them in with our Brussels sprouts. Now, this is a very versatile uh, side dish. You can add eat a lot of different things to this, mushrooms and, and just different things that uh, maybe you got some stuff in the pantry or, or in your refrigerator that... Uh, you'd like to throw in there um, that would be so good I've got a couple of ears of corn in my refrigerator and I'm going to be using that in this dish I'm going to cut the kernels off the cob I just think it would just really be good sauteed up with the Brussels sprouts and everything I know a lot of people think <laughs> Danny and I you know, we eat a lot of gravy and fried potatoes and I don't know what all every night. And we just don't do that. Me and Mr. Brown, we eat a lot healthier and I think than what a lot of people know. Um, probably because, you know, the videos that I do is most of them are your old fashioned uh, recipes that we've always ate growing up and um, what was on the table to feed everybody. But, you know, as I get older and I don't have to worry about the kids, you know, picky kids, you know, not wanting to eat what me and Mr. Brown eat. Now, y'all, I'm putting a lot of garlic in this. This is about seven cloves of garlic that I'm chopping up here. So you can put as much onion. I put, I think I put three shallots in there. And um, now I'm just going to dice up about seven cloves of garlic. This, now this is going to be optional, y'all. I found this at Kroger the other day. I was in there just picking up a few things. This is slow-roasted pancetta. Um, it's what they use in place of bacon. And um, if I didn't have this, I'd be using bacon. But... This is probably equivalent to about six slices of cut up bacon. But we're going to be using the pancetta because it just, it drew my attention. I thought that would be delicious with these Brussels sprouts. So just use what you got. I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in my pan. I'm going to use all this pancetta. Now, just like your bacon, you need to put it in a cold skillet and let it render. It just, it cooks up better and just tastes really good. So our pancetta has been cooking a couple minutes. It's not all the way cooked through, but I'm going to go ahead and add my shallots and let it cook and finish cooking with the shallots. I'm not going to put my garlic in there yet. 
and you just want your your onions cooked till they just kind of get a little bit tender cook down just a little bit and it is smelling so good in this kitchen you just can't imagine if you love the smell of bacon cooking and onions they need to make a perfume that smells like bacon and onions cooking. <laughs> I'd buy it. I'm going to put a tablespoon of butter in here. Just kind of melt that butter down just a little bit. Let those onions cook with that butter. I mean... How could you not go wrong? I mean, look what's in this pan. Butter, pancetta or bacon, and onions. That's the start of some kind of wonderful dish, I guarantee you. Now we're going to add our Brussels sprouts. And there's a lot of people that don't eat Brussels sprouts. But I just feel like if you ever cooked it this way, I think you would really enjoy it. Put a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper, black pepper. Now I'm fixing to put a lid on this, and um, I'm going to let it cook and, and soften up with that lid on it. Let them brush sprouts soften up just a little bit. Because my main goal is to, to saute it all. But just to help those Brussels sprouts cook just a little bit better, putting a lid on it will help. It's been cooking for just a couple minutes. We're going to take the lid off. And you see how some of the Brussels sprouts have already kind of browned up. And that's what you want. That's the look you want. But look how green. Look how green the Brussels sprouts are looking. They haven't lost their color. I could sit down and just eat this all by itself and not have nothing else with it. And I think if there's any leftover, I may just take me some rice with it to work tomorrow for my lunch. I think it'd be delicious. And that's getting tender. My fork went in it pretty easy. Y'all, I'm going to have to eat this one. I'm sorry. And that that's really delicious. Really, really good smoky taste to it because of that pancetta. And bacon would give it that same taste. I'm getting excited. This is going to be so good. I've got me some uh, kernels of corn here that I caught, cut off the cob. I had a few in the refrigerator. We're just going to add that. And you don't have to cook that corn very much. Just a couple minutes. So I know you are looking at this, and you're just thinking of all the different things you could probably add to this. I'm going to put just a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper. And we're going to go ahead and put our seven cloves of garlic in there. And we're not going to cook this much longer. We're just going to saute that garlic up, get it incorporated with all this. You could even serve this over pasta, and it would be delicious and healthy. I feel healthier just looking at it and cooking it. <laughs> I really do hope that y'all try this. 
If you love Brussels sprouts, or even if you don't, you're going to love it. This is a balsamic vinegar. And I want, if you have any balsamic vinegar, this is a fig. This is from the Olive Tap, and I order a lot of balsamic vinegars from this company. They are fantastic. And I'm going to finish off my dish with probably about a tablespoon. And this stuff is kind of thick. A good tablespoon of my fig balsamic vinegar. So this is just about done. And I just cannot wait to dig into it. But I hope y'all like this recipe. It's pretty easy, but I'm telling you, so good. It is Larpin. And so many different things that you can serve with it. Or eat it by itself. It's delicious either way. If y'all love this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us out so much. Hit that notification bell again if you're not getting our notifications. Mr. Brown, he's a go-getter now. And we all love him. We will be back cooking together and enjoying our food. God bless everybody. We love y'all. And we will see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.